excellent hustle, scrapping, biting, clawing, coming up with another loose ball possession. This crowd is standing and giving an ovation to a ball club that is just scratching and fighting like you can't believe it. And these kids deserve this kind of ovation. This is going to be the personality of Ricardo Patton. Get a team out here that wants to hustle, that wants to get after every loose ball and make the play. Phillips can't get it to go. Double dribble. That's what the folks behind us think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be Billups catching that foul. He now has three, and it stops the clock with 3.24 left. And now 10 fouls against Colorado. So we have the double bonus both ways? Uh -huh. Griffin goes out of the lineup. So Tuck is in, Moore, Billups, Jensen and Kritza, the five who started. I beg your pardon, Fryer was the other one who started. Has fouled out of the he game. He has fouled out of the ball game, along with Julian Winfield. A casualty to each ball club by way of fouls. Well, Missouri can afford to because they have so many more players on their bench. Colorado cannot afford to lose anybody else. Tate knocks it down. 14 points for him. Let's take a break. Eight-point ball game. 3:24 left. See you at the airport, Wilkins. Not me. I've got some unfinished business. You work too hard. Hard work is what made this country great, Fielding. I thought you might want to tuck under your pillow tonight, my friend. At Dollar Rent-A-Car, we know that inside every business person, there's a fun person dying to get out. So while Dollar's convenient locations make it easy to come and go, our low rates make it even easier to stay. See you around, Fielding. Dollar Rent-A-Car. Dollar makes sense. Traction control because we all have places to go. Time to wash up. Isn't it just like Delta to design a stylish faucet that's practical too? Give me that. So it's long enough to reach today's double <laughs> and even triple sinks. Delta. The way water is brought to life. Need a towel? The 43,000 people of Northwest Airlines are excited to offer you service to more than 370 cities around the globe. Wherever in the world you're going, get there with Northwest Airlines. Some people just know how to fly. 91-83, Colorado leads, just under three and a half to play. Norm Stewart looks at this kind of situation. He has two full timeouts, no 20 seconds. Ten team fouls against both, two timeouts for Colorado as well. Norm coaching in game number 999. And his counterpart at the other end, and you see him mid-screen in the shirt and tie, Ricardo Patton. Coaching in his third game as a head coach, trying to get his first Division I victory. No problem with the full court pressure that time with Chauncey Phillips bringing the ball up the floor. That's five. That's five on Sutherland. Sutherland leaves with 19 points. Sutherland had a very good game. He was productive, not only in scoring baskets, but being the stabilizer out there for Norm Stewart. He's going to come up to Billups. This time he uses both hands and gets called for the foul. Sutherland was perfect at the free throw line tonight. We talked about Tate picking up the slack at a time. I thought Jason then stepped up beyond that and did the same thing for for uh, Missouri to keep him in this ball game. They're still not out of it, but with him going to the bench now, with 3.07 left, 
their chances are not helped, and particularly the way Colorado is shooting free throws. Not as good, and, and, and certainly for Colorado, if they can get the ball in their offensive set without either of the Haley twins, two seven-footers, and Harge also another seven-footer on the bench, I think Colorado has a chance if they spread the floor to allow Phillips to get to the basket. They're the now line. 23 of 28 at the charity strike. Take the ball inside if you're Colorado. If you're Missouri, you have to be patient, but you also have to start looking to try to score. Get it down on the block and let Thames operate. Thames with the left hand, and he was fouled going to the hoop. And if that's uh, Kritza, it's going to be five on him. Let's see who we got. Number three, look like Moore. Number three, Martise, Martise Moore, Moore, his second. And he's got a couple more to give. To look at Kelly Thames, big wide body down below. He can operate left or right hand around the glass, and you see Martise Moore hitting him across the wrist. But Missouri needs to continue to go to that well if they want to get back in this game. Kelly now two of four at the free throw line, 14 points. Ricardo Patton is uh, is a pacer. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> he moves back and forth constantly on that sideline as Thames gets both of them. And timeout is called by Missouri. 2:49 left in our ball game. 93-85 Buffaloes. Traction control because we all have places to go. Emma, seems like we've known each other forever. Mm, yeah, I know. Two weeks. Will you marry me? Because Emma, I love you, man. Oh, Johnny, you're not getting my Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down. Johnny, make it a Bud Light. Jane? It's Joan. Jane, Joan, whatever. I feel like I've known you forever. ESPN's presentation of NCAA basketball is brought to you by Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 Olympic Summer Games. Make it a Bud Light. By Office Depot, taking care of business for companies of every size, everywhere, every day. And by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Well, that foul, that's on Tate. Personal foul number that's number five on him. So Tate will join Sutherland and also Julian Winfield on the bench. And Tate leaves with 14 points, most of those in the second half. I think he only had one first half point. 13 in the second half, that's right. Wouldn't you say this is a lot of confidence that a coach shows in, in a, one of his better players, maybe his best player, Chauncey Phillips, who's just a freshman, as we keep talking about, averaging 83% from the free throw line in Big 8 competition. free throw line looking for point number 24 and he gets this one it's back to a 10 point margin so Missouri has one timeout left Colorado has two the Tigers do not have to start firing up threes but they do have to look to try to score early Walter with a three-pointer, well off the mark. Phillips tried to sky. I don't think his uh, cramping calves will allow that too much. He's going to take it all the way to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Out of bounds. White ball. It came down on Moore. Uh, no, Thames. It came down on Thames, and he was lying out of bounds. Take a look at Phillips. Nobody's going to pick him up, so he's going to try to take the ball all the way inside, but... 
looks like Billups or Thames is laying right on the out of bounds line. And you're right, Ron, that was a very good call. So we have 209 to play. 95-85. You know, I think we do have more people in the student section here in the second half. As Martise Moore kisses it off the glass. What a night he's had. 25 points from Martise Moore. See what I like about Colorado. They're not concerned about slowing the ball down. They're continuing to be aggressive and get the ball inside and try to score. Boy, Kritza got a part of the ball. Nobody had good <laughs> ball identification inside. They get the easy two and also get to go to the line. Well, tomorrow, more great action. The Big Ten and also the SEC with a doubleheader. It's 7.30 Eastern time. It's Iowa and Indiana. Then down to the SEC, it's LSU against Arkansas. All tomorrow on Super Tuesday. Ball recognition was right. That ball was touched, and uh -huh. nobody from Colorado was able to get their eyes on it and pick it up. On number 45, Simeon Haley will come into the lineup, and Walter will go to the bench. So now Norm Stewart elects to go with a larger lineup. Now they use some clock. Spread the floor, get the ball in Billups' hands. Desmond Ferguson working outside against Billups. And Grimm picks up the foul as he just came right through the screen <laughs> of Billups and sent him down. And Billups said, hey, I've been on the floor enough tonight. Well, following our game, stay tuned for SportsCenter. Keith Oberman and Craig Kilbarn will catch you up on all the latest news and highlights, including Magic Returns, also Riley versus the Knicks, and Hot Stove heats up. That and more. Sports Center immediately following our game. You know, if you can get one more shot of Ricardo Patton as he continues to pace <laughs> over there, you know what else he did? And I guarantee you, I'll bet there's no other coach in America who's a head coach who's done it. For five years, he was a studio camera operator <laughs> in a commercial television station. <laughs> so he knows our business a little bit? Well, he knows a lot about it. <laughs> Big offensive rebound by Greg Jensen to keep that ball alive for the Buffaloes. Tuck against Ferguson. Phillips bounces outside. Shot clock just not going under 20, and you can see the game clock. A 10-point margin by the Colorado Buffaloes. This is going to break an eight-game losing streak as Phillips loses the ball. And Moore slides it up back to Graham. He wants the three-pointer, takes it, and scores it. Tough shot. Wow. 17 points for Derek Graham. Got it to within seven. Student section standing and cheering as Billups is fouled by Haley. And for Simeon, his first foul of the ball game. And the crowd now, everybody standing and cheering and with 42.3 seconds and a 98-91 lead for Colorado. Chauncey Phillips seems to be laboring a little bit. I think those leg cramps are bothering him, but if the Buffaloes are able to come away with this victory, I, I think he won't feel a thing after this game. His feet won't even be on the ground. In this half alone, Colorado has shot 19 of 24 at the free throw line. You have to be aggressive and want to get in there. Turn the corner, take it all the way to the basket. Phillips with 26. Sports Center coming up next, immediately following our game. Is this poise and composure for a freshman? Walter for three. Can't get it to go. Jensen on the rebound and Haley with the foul. I am so impressed with the poise that the Buffaloes have been playing with in this game. They got off to a big leader in the first half, but they were able to maintain it. They never seemed to panic in this game. Phillips out of the ball game with 27 points to a standing ovation. Replacing Martise Moore. 
Martise Moore also out of the ball game. Phillips with 27, Martise 25 points and 15 rebounds. I think mom might head up here more from Atlanta. <laughs> they might invite her. They might invite her to stay up here. <laughs> How about a, a condo? Melvin gets the long carom and they can run the clock completely down. Ferguson fouls him and it stops at a 29.4. Now you take a look at the Missouri bench as Sutherland fouled out, Winfield fouled out, also Corey Tate fouled out of the ball game. Ron, we talked earlier in the game that the Tigers have had trouble on the road this season. Only two wins at Hawaii in the Rainbow Classic in Arkansas State. So they still have yet to prove themselves on the road. But they've got 13 wins and and they'll be fine. Uh, I, I still think they have a lot of depth on it. Like, we didn't see Hards tonight, but Hards would not have matched well in this game. I mean, the way this thing went up and down in the first half, oh, he wouldn't have been able to keep up. Well, he'd have waited for a stopover as they came back. <laughs> would have had to. Anybody would, uh, you know, a large player. Foul number 23, Shane Miller, personal foul number one for Miller. Miller picks up the foul for Colorado and Ferguson goes to the line. So now just over 25 seconds left and the crowd, student section sticking around to enjoy this one. Some of the other folks have headed to the exit, which surprises me a little bit because victories haven't come that often. That's right. <laughs> student section has been here though and I, as I said, I think they have increased in size as this ball game has gone along. I'd want to stay around to watch the end of this. Tigers ball. Sports Center coming up next. That's about 20 ticks from now. Ferguson buries it from down in the corner. Ferguson. Foul at number 31, Scott Combs. First Combs gets the foul the first on him. And Melvin goes to the line. Charlie Melvin in the free throw line for the Golden Buffaloes. Charlie Melvin's another one that came off the bench and contributed uh, very well to the Colorado cause tonight. He's got eight points as he goes to the line. See the reaction of Derek Grimm over there on the sideline. We outside Melvin skies for the rebound and it looks like Walter will be called for the foul on him with 8.6 seconds left 104 to 94 as they head to the free throw Cardo Patton's coaching all the way to the end of this game guys no fouls no fouls get the defensive board they go on the road for a couple of games after this when they go to Oklahoma State and then at Kansas State The last time that they scored that many points was 1975, is that right? Against Missouri. And this one is over. So, Ricardo Patton records his first victory as the interim head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes, and they do it in outstanding fashion over a good Missouri team, 106 to 94. Stars of this ball game tonight, they were many, but Chauncey Phillips and Martise Moore guided the way. Final again, Colorado 106 and Missouri 94. Sports Center is next.